Hi, my name is Sage Sanchez, and we're here at the Outdoor Sportsman Show. And today we are repping Green Mountain Grill. Excited to be a part of this team. So now that we're unboxing and getting ready for this amazing show, let's kind of take you over here and see what it looks like. And so what we're building today is the Green Mountain Grill. It's called the Ledge Prime. So we do have heavy steel, heavy duty steel. When you feel it, there's actually some girth and some weight on it. So when I walk by grills, I always tap on them and see how hollow they are. This one's very dense. So I like that mostly. And right here, we have an open view with the glass. Because of the window, they put a light inside. So you have a better visual if, you, if, if that's your concern. I have two of these. In fact, I own like six over the years and the, the temperature ramps up right away. So Absolutely. no problem. And in my experience, if you put it at 300, it stays at 300. Yeah. Some easy unpackaging that comes directly inside the grill. So it's all boxed up. You're not have to fish through everything okay. and everything's Shown pretty simple. Bro. But so if you look here, here's where we put the pellets in, drop them into the hopper, and if you get down there, you can see a little clear device, kind of like a glass little thing. Yeah, point, that is point, 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 right here. Right so here. this is an optical sensor that reads how high and how low the pellets are. So if your pellets drop below that optical sensor, your machine's gonna start beeping, and you might just freak out and wonder why. So there is ways that you can go ahead and fix that. You just have to keep it full. We come in here, you can see where the optical sensor back there, it comes into the auger. This is where the auger is and it pushes the pellets out. And the cool new feature you see down here, that heating element is now ceramic. And so that thing, it gets hot faster, it holds, retains the heat faster, and, and just works, I think, better. So once, we have, once you've seen that now, we go ahead and, as we're still assembling the grill, but it fits perfectly on there right over the top. You see how it is actually, in, it is centered. Um, I've seen other grills where they, they keep the heat over here and now you can go ahead and install this handle. Here we go for an easy installation just on the handle just to make it it's just simple parts Can lay in simple places and be installed with ease So one of the greatest things about the toolkit for assembly is you only need two sizes We have right here a 12 millimeter that comes in the kit, but also comes installed with a 10 millimeter That's it. So this is what comes in for the installation These are the tools this is your accessories for your um, for your heat thermometers, your probes that go directly into the grill and into your food, whatever you're cooking to monitor. We have two in there. That's pretty amazing. It even comes with an extra one in case you just need an extra one. So I noticed you have a tip here. You actually put cardboard on the floor from the packaging, right? That Absolutely. way you minimize any kind of damage or scratches. So that's definitely a tip that people want to follow at home. Yes, please. Yeah, and the instructions like that to use the box is, is on the box when you do get it. So go ahead and just keep your eyes for what you need to do. You can obviously look just right at the grill and it's gonna show you exactly entry points for the hardware installs. And so I, what you wanna look at is how do you wanna get it? So you wanna get the legs on the backside in first. And when you follow the instructions, it's gonna show you that there's also this piece of hardware installed in the leg and that's gonna catch the, bottom, the very bottom shelf. They'll make it sturdier, make it balanced, and hold it together tight. So the bigger wheels go front or back? The bigger wheels are gonna go the opposite side of the pellet box. Okay. Yep. You can even, if you have another person or you need it, take a little lift, slides in, and lines. If you get in there, you can see how it just lines up. Okay. Super easy. Tighten up the uh, hole for the screw. So, as you can see, we got the first two legs installed just to get it a lift up. And we're gonna go ahead and put these legs in and see how they line up. Make sure your thing's out there. This one goes. And just one more here for a second. One last. Hold them tight. All right, so the next part of the installation is going and standing the grill up. Now, if you feel any, if you feel uncomfortable about the weight, you're guessing it, you just find someone to help you. But here I am on, I'm on a few grills and I can understand the weight balance and where to steady them. I'm also gonna put the locks on the wheels before I even lift it up to make sure it doesn't have another roll on me to get away. So they do come with lockable wheels, right there. And always bend your knees and lift with your knees, not your back. And not so much of a struggle. So easy installation here for the Timony chute. It comes already with the gasket. So you just gotta keep it together, line them up. Give a couple easy turns, and you are partially in to start your next screw. Line it up. Excellent. And as I was sharing earlier, back here where you see 
the heat plate right here where you can change the temperatures. The easy installation for that comes like this. So you just insert into that hole and catch your eyes over here. It lines right up and it's a couple turns. And then now you have the accessibility to move the heat, the heat temperatures around. And they're also right here guided to let you know what setting is the perfect and you can find that out in the instructions. On the other side, you have a thermal couple right here. And so you wanna make sure that this is uncovered when you install the plate. And as when you build the legs, you have the bottom shelf and that comes in installed after you stand the grill up. So you slide it in, line up, and it'll draw it right in, keep your grill more secure. And now you have extra space, put your pellets, accessories, whatnot. Bruh. Another quick easy installation is going to be the side table that you put your food on. Installation for this is here's the what we would say for the legs for to hold it up. So you can drop it down, you can move it. And here we follow right here, we have these. Go ahead and catch them in. Super simple right here, line them up. Less hardware, faster cooking. Get in there tight. Use the leg down here. Set it down. Your body. Next thing it comes with is because the foods that you cook are going to have fats in it, it's going to drop you onto the bottom of the grill. So it comes with this catch basin, catch bucket. So keep your eye on that. Make sure you empty that out periodically. All right, Sage is starting up the Green Mountain and uh, it's going to heat up. And you can see some pellets coming through. The uh, glow plug will heat up shortly and these uh, pellets will ignite. He's going to add a little bit more once the pellets ignite and uh, we're gonna get this unit to burn in at about 400 degrees for about 20 minutes before we begin our very, very first cook. Okay, we primed it with some extra pellets. You can see the smoke rising. That means the pellets are heating up and they will light soon. Once it lights, then the fan serve cycle will come on and this thing will start burning and we can put this uh, heat deflector back on and heat shield and this unit should be ready for its burn-in cycle. Okay, after a few minutes, the uh, startup cycle starts with a fire. Now, today is going to reassemble the unit for its first burn-in cycle, and we're going to get it up to 400 degrees. And you usually want to do this before you get, it gets too smoky, but uh, we, because we're shooting this video, we had to show you how the pellets light up before we make sure that this step is done. 